Hello everybody, and welcome to the second devlog for The Vaporwave, a 3D action platformer with stylings based on eras from the, the 90s, the 80s, or PlayStation 1, the 64, that sort of thing. And today, we'll be talking to one Savoyan Sailor to learn more about the art direction of the game itself. Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, the great and powerful Cerulean Sailor, here to talk about art. Did you know that games usually need some form of art for the visual stimulation of our puny human brains? Well, it does. And this is what our game is going to provide for yours. Firstly, our user interface, or UI, artwork will consist of 2D images reminiscent of Windows 99 UI but to avoid copyright infringement, we'll be altering it a bit to suit our needs. We can't reveal too much at this point or else the power of our prototyping may short-circuit the electrical paths in your brain. But not to fret, for there is still three-dimensional art to discuss. As you can see, we have made some progress with our artwork, working ahead of schedule as some may say, and we have began animating our character models. Some models still need texturing but we are working towards making enough of them to put together our first level. Coming up on our to-do list, we have some combat animations. The bubble boiler our water gun weapon, and the main boss need some animations, which are critical for battle. All of this and more will be detailed in our own personal art bible. Praise the sun! The Art Bible will go into the specifics of what we'll need to stay on task and keep everything visually cohesive. For instance, our game will be low poly. That by itself could mean a million things, but since our game is specifically going for a PlayStation 1 style, this means we have a limited poly count as well as limited texture size. We have a texture size limit of 256 by 256 pixels for any one model, but this size will be used mainly for important weapons and the player character. Any other texture will have a maximum size of 128 by 128 pixels. Character models will be approximately 500 polygons at the most. Prop models will be approximately half of that at 250 polys in the most extreme cases. That is, as long as Blender is functioning the way we need it to. And lest we forget the aesthetic, may I just say, it's in the name. Combining the 80s and 90s, nostalgia, and the well-known aspects of any good Vaporwave tunes playlist, like ancient Roman or Greek statues, and we have an amalgamation that any gamer yearning for times gone by would froth at. Be sure to stay tuned for more updates.